we're going to dry some more of the mushroom so this is about maybe four bags of mushroom oh my gosh that's, that's a lot this butter ball mushroom I'm going to clean this up I'm going to chop it and I'm going to stir fry them to try this has been washed and I cut the end of it right here there and then I'm going to get a paper towel to dry it off a little bit because this mushroom is a little bit um, a little slimy so before I stir fry them and cook them I'm gonna dry it with paper towel so I just cut them in layers just like that and this is what it's look like um, the brown stuff don't worry about it it's still edible but if you don't want to eat it you can just take the brown off so what I got here I cooked bacon this morning so this is the fat of the bacon so it's an extra flavor so uh, I'm heating it up I turn on the stove on medium high heat what I'm gonna do I'm going to put the butterball mushroom and a sprinkle of basil leaves onion powder garlic powder just a little bit and thyme black pepper salt turn to golden brown or start to translucent and then I'm going to take it out and turn to gold brown like that well you can put salt or vegetable onion if you want to but for myself, I have this. This is the Filipino seasoning. I used this on my video two, two times already. But I just wanted to have a little extra flavor. It's pretty good. This, this seasoning is really good. It's good with everything. Try them. Turn off the stove and just eat it. Well, let's try the mushroom. The mushroom called a butterball mushroom, or you could call it bullet. So let's try them. Well, we've been cooking this. This is my I think this is my third time cooking it. So I'm just showing you guys. How I cook them well it's free it's wild mushroom so it's free to eat it mm. wow it's very different from the white mushroom that you bought at the store but you could still taste it. It's mushroom, but it's very different. Cook it with a lot of herbs. It tastes good that way. 
and my husband loved it so it's good well it's free <laughs> you don't need to buy but I think maybe it's better that way well guys that's how I prepared and cooked the wild mushroom it's called butterball or you could call it bullets as well thank you very much for watching after my husband found this butterball mushroom or you could call it bullet wash them you could cook it the way it is but He's trying to dry them, so what I'm going to do, I'm going, this, been has, this has been washed, I'm going to cut it, and then I'll put it in the hydration machine. I cut in this thick, and then put it on, lay it flat like that. It's finally done. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to put the lid on, and turn it on, on turn on on medium high temperature to dry it put the lid on there you go finally done let's dry them thank you to my sister-in-law rachel to letting us borrow your machine Guys, the, the drying of the bleep or butterball mushroom is finished, but we have a bunch. We still have a lot to go. So anyway, I'm just showing you how we did them. So this is done. So what I do, I have a desiccant pack in here. I'm going to put it in here inside to stay dry. And you could just store this in a dry cool area and it's good to go it depends how long will take you to dry to put it in the aeration machine because this one it took us about six no um eight to ten hours because the cut of the mushroom is a little thicker so if you cut it a little thinner then it will go quicker so that's how it depends on how thick or thin you cut your mushroom that's how it'll take to dry well guys thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you very much bye bye